What is up my riders? So today I did a video as you guys know, me just kind of hanging out, talking to you guys, doing a Q&A live stream. You know that I like switching things up, so I was like, you know what, today, something that would be really cool when I started stumbling upon videos like this on YouTube that are pretty popular, like channels that go about this. I have my old Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon collection that I am gonna show you guys. Literally, I've had these cards ever since I got them when I was a kid. So I've had them probably for, I would say nine years, around nine years, nine, 10 years. So without further ado, I'm just gonna lay them down and show you guys kinda, and I'm gonna get a better angle. So let's switch it up real quick and I'm gonna show you guys some of my rare cards. I don't feel like setting up a table because I don't really have any tables downstairs. Should be good enough. So here is my box, my original box collection. Um, so it's technically an unboxing. Uh, you have just, geez, they are a lot. These are like the classic, uh, classic monster cards, all the old, new. I would say that I have every single card from when I was a kid at least not the new cards and stuff I never got into the GX series but I'm pretty sure I don't and then you have I don't know why I have some of the traps mixed in there I guess that was a GX series these aren't really the exciting ones that I'm sure a lot of you guys want to see I just figured I'd show some of the, uh, I had these broken down previously. I must have just started mixing them up. Yeah, like those are all, I have all the trap, random traps. I have true. I was really into Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon when I was a kid. I feel like every kid was at one point in time. I don't know if they're as popular to this day or not, but it was always fun to have duels and uh, just opening a new pack, the smell that you'd get with them, but also not knowing what you were about to get. And then I have my hollows, which is where this kind of gets a little bit more interesting. I'm sorry for the bad angle. I'm trying to reach around because I have some very mint. See, I'm pretty sure that came out around GX. That's a GX. Yeah, Roid. Some mint rare cards. Uh, I tried to sell them before, but people want to say that from my pictures, they're not in good condition, whereas some are, some aren't. I do have the occasional uh, bend in them as I did play with these when I was a kid. But I do have some like, again, I think is in decent condition. Obviously, most of these cards, if not any, are not gonna score a 10 on grading because uh, I just know offhand that none of them would probably be. Gemini Elves. I hope the lighting's good. If you guys are actually into this stuff, I will do a separate video. Um, this isn't... I heard that the first edition of this is pretty rare, but unfortunately, that Thousand Eyes Restrict is not first edition. Winged Karibo. Black Luster. Now, as you guys go through... There are some that if you get to the end, like this, for example, I do not know, I think this is supposed to be a first edition or it's not as rare, but there's a blue eyes white dragon, which is really neat to see, even though, like I said, none of these are in perfect condition, I wouldn't say, because my Guilford's really good. Uh, And then you have 
these two blue eyes, which all are first edition, but unfortunately they're all bent. That one's completely destroyed. But then you have this limited edition, but unfortunately there is a bend in it. Unf I really wish I kept these in better shape, but it's still neat to show. And then there's the Dragon Master Knight, limited edition. Now those Yu-Gi-Oh are like the ones that I kept in decent condition. As you guys can see, just even like the corners and stuff like these were played with and that's kind of the thing that sure ruins the value a lot even if i could get maybe a hundred for a card that's worth 800 i would be kind of happy honestly then i have just these are all like um i forget what they're called hol holographic text i don't think they're called holographic but I'm also not a professional Yugi slash Pokemon enthusiast. I'm an enthusiast as in I like the cards and I grew up with them, but I do not know the correct terms. But then these were the ones that I actually kept in sleeves. Like I read online that this is worth quite a bit, this Chansey. Also comment if you want to tell me the prices because I have no idea, but these that are in the case, these. Um, sleeves are in really good condition there's a slight slight uh, bend mark right there but other than that um, the ones that are in here are in decent shape that one is not as you guys can see and yet again I do not claim that these are in 100% they're in good condition but I do not foresee me ever getting insane amounts or the PSA gradings of 10 I don't know if they do I guess they do PSA gradings for these too and then also that's uh, one of the original cards in Nitto King uh, some of these are very, very old. If I can come across some of them, these are all like the these are all like the new dual typing generation. There's some more. All right, let's see if I can. Shining Noctowl, I have no idea how rare that is. I always thought it was rare because it looked cool. Probably not. That one's my worst shape card. That probably shouldn't even be in there. Have one of those original Gyaradoses. This is probably my rarest, best condition card because it's from the original packs where you could get the Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoids, even though the Charizard was the one that people really wanted. I read online this is pretty rare and it's in good shape Blaine's Charizard apparently every Charizard was sought after back then and that's about it so guys like I said if you, I end up figuring out after I do this video that there's a lot of hype or a lot of questions or just a lot of interest in this I will go more into detail but I just kind of wanted to share this with you it is like a childhood memory and I figured if I could share this with you and guys enjoyed it, it would be cool to like share this kind of stuff with you guys and go into more detail. But that's my collection, not in perfect condition, far from it, but it was my childhood and I'm still keeping them and holding on to them. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think I could get or what you think they looked as far as like condition wise and you can be critical. Just don't be an asshole. <laughs> Because obviously, like I said a hundred times, these are from when I was a kid. I love you guys. Make sure to be happy, stress less. Hope you enjoy. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. <sighs>